gardeners welcome to another video on my channel my name is trisha for anyone that's new and we have a little chacha that's always interrupting you want to say hi come here come on up yes you're so cute always gotta sniff my breath so in today's video i'm really excited to finally show you guys um what i made with all of the supplies that i got in my unboxing video in my last video so for anyone that hasn't seen that, I'm going to show you a quick overview of all of the stuff that I got. A lot of it included these huge, amazing pieces of cork bark that I wasn't able to use all of them for this enclosure, but it's amazing because I have so many extras that I can use for future enclosures or just other enclosures around in my reptile room. So they will definitely be utilized and it was just like Christmas morning opening that it was the best thing ever. Like you guys know, reptile people know how important cork bark is and it is just like the best gift ever. So in today's video, I also wanted you guys to guess who this would be for. And I'm going to let you guys know now it was for Bowie, my Brazilian rainbow boa. So I've had a lot of issues with Bowie's enclosure because it's winter time here and she always prefers to be on the cooler side of the enclosure, which was by the window, which is just way too cold. So I basically took everything out of the enclosure and was trying to force her to stay on the warm side. And literally if I put anything in there whatsoever, she would use that as like a cool hide and go under it rather than her warm hide. So it was just a huge struggle, but um, I've kind of figured out how I'm going to go about that next winter so that way I won't have to deal with that at all and she'll still have all the enrichment in her enclosure. So I was really excited to be able to put everything in there and finally give her some like substrate again and just other new textures and feels and enrichment and smells. So she definitely seems to be liking it so far, which is amazing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I set it up and kind of walk you through it because it's very, very basic. So again, like when I started off, Bowie's enclosure was very, very boring. She just had some paper towel and a hide and a water bowl, a couple of like fake branches or not branches, but just like fake plants. And um, it just looked really, really, really boring. I hated it. So... I took all of that stuff out, cleaned everything off. She does still have a heating pad. And so I left that in there and it's connected to a thermostat to make sure it doesn't overheat. And then I basically just started off with a little uh, bottom layer of Eco Earth. And this is something that I just had around the house still. So I didn't need that from Josh's Frogs, although they do sell it as well. So I basically just filled the enclosure up with that as a bottom layer because that is needed for the um, isopods and the springtails. So then I added the isopods and the springtails. This enclosure is bioactive because it does have those springtails and isopods. However, there isn't enough for this size enclosure, but I didn't really intend for this enclosure to just be fully bioactive in the means that like Brazilian rainbow bows are kind of big and with bigger snakes, you can't just fully rely on springtails and isopods and the cleanup crew because their poop is going to be much larger. So that being said, you're still going to have to spot clean and take out poop when you find it in the enclosure because their poops are just so big. But for any little pieces that may go unnoticed, the bioactive um, cleanup crew will actually take care of that for you. So it does benefit the enclosure to keep it a little bit more clean but you're still gonna have to be spot cleaning as well because it's a larger animal with larger poops. So I did add the springtails and the isopods on top of the Eco Earth, and then I added the cocoa husk, and then I added some moss to the enclosure. I used sphagnum moss and forest floor moss, kind of mixed it up. Then I had these little um, pillow mosses that I got from Josh's Frogs as well that I was able to put around the enclosure. Then I added my vine because Brazilian rainbow boas are semi-arboreal, so they do like to climb. I did have Bowie in a really tall enclosure when she was a juvenile, but she didn't really utilize it and climb around too much. So that's why I decided to just give her like a lower down enclosure because she doesn't really climb too much, but I wanted to give her the option just in case. Um, the cork bark will also be great for climbing around in new fields, helping her get shed off and also provide more hiding places for her within the enclosure as well. So I added those pieces. And then the last thing that I added to the enclosure was leaf litter. That's something that I also just had. So I used that and just put everything on top. And then I put her in the enclosure and she kind of just like sniffed everything out at first and was looking around. Um, and then she just went back into her warm hide where she has been staying, which is really shocking because now she actually has cooler spots to hide in, but she's still staying in her warm hide. So I'm proud of her for doing that. 
Um, I'm hoping to change out her heat in the future and give her, I forget what it's called, it's like a heating panel that you put at the top. Um, I think that that would give her a better um, ambient temperature in the enclosure as well as it would just warm up that cool side, especially in the winter when it gets way too cold because it's drafty. So I think that that will make a huge difference next winter. But for now, she just has the heating pad still, which is totally fine. It's warming up. It's not as cold. And I have my space heater in the reptile room as well. That helps. So everything has been okay. And now she just finally has that enrichment. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys her enclosure so you guys can see everything. One other thing that I want to add is that I got her this LED light and this is the light right here. So because her enclosure is so humid, it has little stickers so that way it would stay at the top and because it was so humid, it just fell down and it won't stay. So I need to buy little hooks. But this little LED light, it has like three notches on it. It's like really bright. So I don't know if you guys can like see this right now. But um, this really lights up the enclosure because it's a black enclosure, it's PVC, and you can't really see much inside of it, so that really lit it up and made it look really nice. It'll also be helpful for cleaning the enclosure and looking for poop because it's like impossible to see in there because it's so dark. So I'll hopefully be fixing that soon, but it was on for my video clips where you're able to see everything, so that is why it's more lit up in the video. So yeah, I'm gonna let you guys see her full enclosure and see her enjoying it because it's just amazing. I can't stop staring at it, it's the best thing ever. Again, pretty much everything in this enclosure I got from Josh's Frog, so you guys should check them out. You can use my discount code Reptilian Garden and save 15% off of your entire order. But it is a one-time use, so if you've used it before, it's not going to work. So just keep that in mind. They also sell all of these other amazing supplies and feeders and plants and just anything that you could want for your animals. So definitely check them out. And yeah, I'm gonna let you guys see Bowie. I hope you guys enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching.